Before we get into the commentary, there will be a special announcement. Due to a lack of ponies, pony fags, and pony faggotry, this episode will contain no content relating to My Little Pony bar this section. Now, on to the intro. So tonight's commentary is going to be on Foxtrot, Delta, Lima, whatever the fuck the number at the end of his name is. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be going, oh my god, you can't talk about him. Everybody and their mothers have really talked about him. You don't have the right to him, etc, etc. No, guys, this isn't going to be a direct commentary. I'll just get to explaining the concept of this commentary. You see, if you don't know this fact already, I'm a New Zealander. And the one thing New Zealanders hate more than anything else... Is Australians. Now first things first I'm gonna give you guys a little idea if you haven't seen it already for those of you that haven't of how bad the commentary in question is okay let's start with the review from Youngblood why did you team up with such a terrible commentator as GRV he is a stupid kid who keeps fawning over me he made a four-part commentary video on my geek commentary video only to agree with me you're stupid, Neil. You're stupid to team up with a terrible commentator such as him. And by the way, the whole video was a broken record, not to mention everything about it was inferior crap compared to my great works, obviously. Reaching a new low with an obvious target and bad choices everywhere. You're a real piece of work. So yeah, it wasn't a really great video. I'll just play you a brief audio clip. Is it because he has a baby face? Because he's Irish? It's cute! Why is he hated on? Oh my. So having a baby face is cute? What the... Now imagine something with me. Imagine 35 minutes. Okay, okay, 35 is a bit extreme. 20 minutes of that fucking little cunt yapping on like that. 20 minutes of that shit in a row. I mean, very, very few people have the patience to take it. I managed to sit through it once, and that was the extent. But holy fucking shit, that is the worst fucking excuse for commentary I've ever heard in my life. The question then comes, how do I make a video that is about as appealing as watching my own family, my own entire family, being raped by a pack of wild and horny polar bears, remotely watchable? Quite simply this. I upstage them. So the concept for this commentary is pretty much this. I'll show you what true commentating really is. So basically what I'm going to do is take the second video that they tried to, and I want to attach a thousand foot wide air quotes around this, commentate on, and commentate it on it myself. And illustrate how I suppose I think I'm a decent commentator would tackle said video. So without any further ado, on with the show. Well, we're already off to a rough start, so I'm going to change the music because I can only predict the horrors that the soundtrack to this video is going to contain. If you call gargling generic lyrics into an auto-tune box singing, then I suppose yes, you're right, they're all great singers. Yeah, for a bunch of 12-year-old girls, I suppose they're relatively attractive. I wouldn't know though, you'd have to ask a pedophile about that. But not in the way you think they do. Yeah, because mental illness is such a wonderful quality to have. So did Elvis Presley, what's your point? Yeah, pose a faggot, it's a perennial favourite. Much like Chris Chan, he likes to recycle. So do the fry cooks down at McDonald's, what's your point? See guys, your dog needs a new chew toy, there you go. Too bad you can't say the same for their fans. 
especially a gas chamber. Hmm, I wonder why this isn't number one on the list. I'm sorry, I'm just flabbergasted at the fact that you had the fucking balls to call them a band. So did the KKK, what's your point? Talking like you have the Blarney Stone stuck up your ass isn't exactly my idea of a cute accent. So the fact that these two guys are butt buddies is supposed to endear me to this band, how? Please refer to my previous comment. Yeah, they're totally like the Beatles if you strip away all talent, humanity, soul, energy, likability. Come to think of it, they're not like the Beatles at all. You left out the last part of that sentence. A great personality for cardboard cutout stereotype wanker cunts. It is truly a wonderful use of my time that you chose to point that out. Yes, his attention whoring tactics are just adorable. Yes, because people who don't even put any thought into the bullshit platitudes spewing out of their mouths are obviously role models and need to be championed. Who fucking does it? Next bullshit point. So can any scene kid, that isn't a special talent. Something tells me all their signs are cancer if you get my drift. And I still fail to see how this is a selling point in any way. I really don't care about this point, so... Yeah, like releasing an album and putting it in the music section. The only instruments they have any talent at is a skin flute, if you get my drift. So do the Dutch, what the fuck has that got to do with anything? Just in case you need that extra little push from depressed to suicidal. Yeah, it's totally not forced for the cameras. I can, in fact, I never start. Dex. Ha ha ha, skin cancer, what a story, Mark. What you forgot to mention is that's a list of the people with the lowest IQs in the world. Maybe you just found out the news about the skin cancer. I don't care, I'm moving on. C. Bum friendship. Come on, who wouldn't love being fawned over by a bunch of immature, teenage attention whoring bitches? Oh, they're going to be doing plenty of that in 2014 when nobody knows who they are. Fuck Iron Maiden, I'm off to go see a poor man's version of Westlife. Yes, exactly, what the fuck? How has our society lowered its standards of entertainment down to this pathetic, shallow and vacuous level? What the fuck? Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. I'm moving on. And also coincidentally making a large amount of money out of it. You want to see some funny shit that happens on a phone? There'll be a link in the description to a call for Michael Jackson calling a suicide hotline. 
trust me, it's something you want to listen to. No offense ladies, but any woman that tells me that to my face is getting punched square in the ovaries. No exceptions. Wow, what a deep and intellectual point. You've surely given me some food for thought. You know what this bullshit reminds me of? There, I did it. I broke my disclaimer at the beginning of the video. Are you happy now? Made by Vacuous Attention Hall Productions. What a surprise that is. Well, I personally hope that One Direction will decide to do their next tour down the bottom of the Marinus Trench where they fucking well belong. Now, I apologize, people, if that commentary was like a little bit fast and a little bit slapdash. I had to essentially cut out a whole lot of bullshit that they put into their video of their interviews and bullshit like that, and um, Harry Styles crying his little pussy eyes out and shit like that. Also, the fact that they averaged about 12 and a half list items per fucking minute didn't help either because they spent so little time on each one. And by the way, it's not a top 50 list. They missed one around, I think, number 28. Which Went spontaneously missing, so it's actually a top 49 list, but uh, I don't like to split hairs. Now the really interesting thing is when you compare my commentary to Foxtrot whatever whatever's and the Groveling Lightning's commentary, when you compare my commentary to theirs you'll see something very distinctive. My commentary took 7 minutes, their commentary took over 20 minutes on the same video. That's right, 20 fucking minutes. 20 fucking minutes. Most of which is actually spent listening to a whiny little kid who sounds like he's 10 years away from getting his balls dropped. Conclusion, the fact that me, as a really a kind of new fag of the commentary community, as a guy who hasn't been around that long, can make these guys look this incompetent, is a really a sad indictment of where commentaries have gone. But the good news is there are plenty of good people still making commentaries and I myself plan to continue making videos into the future. Now I've been DangerMouse1337, thank you for sticking around and listening to my bullshit like usual, and as always, sayonara bitches.